Welcome back to another plan with me. Um, thank you for joining me for my New Year's spread. I'm sorry, I'm talking really quietly because my other half um, is on the other side of this wall and I don't want to disturb him while he's doing whatever he's doing. So apologies if this is really annoying, but um, this is the uh, volume at which I have to speak. Um, I have been so excited to share, well, to do the spread and to share the spread. I've been so, 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 so excited. Um, this is the first week in my 2022 planner. Um, I went for Harriet Wright Designs again. Um, I actually got this planner for Christmas, um, which for me, um, someone who loves setting up their planner as soon as possible was really difficult to wait for. Um, but I'm so glad that I did. I've loved every second of um, enjoying setting it up and, and using it now rather than having all the fun um a couple of months before it's actually due to be set up and I just enjoyed the tail end of um finishing up my 2021 planner and just really was able to make the most of that um so the kit that I have used for this week is a kit by Crafts by Towie um I love how this spread came out I was so careful I'm sure we all do this um when we're doing the first week in a new planner but I really wanted to do it justice and I was just really nervous to make sure that I was happy with what um, I came out with. I didn't want to do too much, I didn't want to be left with too much white space and I feel like I really did um, find the balance and I absolutely love how the whole thing came out which is quite rare for me to really be fully 100% happy with the spread I've produced but this one I just have absolutely loved putting together. Um, so yeah, the kit is Crafts by Tawi. I absolutely love the format. This is one of her new formats. Um, I love the new uh, lace um, scallop circles. Um, I had to use all four. They are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm so excited to see these in kits, in her kits going forward. Because I have always used her, <clears throat> or have always loved using her, half lace scallop um stickers and this is just sort of a slightly smaller she shrunk it ever so slightly and made it a full circle and they are gorgeous so i i knew i was going to love using this kit but i just really wanted to do it justice um i'm not really one for date cover deco i'm not fully behind the trend um i find it really fussy i find it particularly difficult to um edit which is most annoying because you have to edit out all of the spaces between adding each little thing each little piece um and i find that really frustrating and really difficult so um just trying to see what i'm actually showing here i think i'm just showing you that i've sliced off the edges because they didn't quite fit um so yeah i wanted to add a little bit just because the date covers themselves were so plain um but I wouldn't normally, but I, I just wanted to add a little bit. I love, I bought the dividers that match the kit and I bought the dangle deco that matched the kit. So I just, um, I used, um, I used the sheet of the florals that had sort of bigger pieces on and I cut around those because they're too big to use in my spread anyway. Um, and I knew I wouldn't use them. So I just thought it was simple enough to lay those over the top and then, put on the matching divider and I have to say I absolutely love how it came out um but I don't think I would want to fuss any more than that I don't understand how people can spend so long on their um date covers I really don't sorry if I sound a bit different I just got a bit of um a clip that hadn't been deleted out when it was supposed to um yeah I don't understand how people can spend so much time doing the meticulous teeny tiny pieces um you know cutting things up and uh, for any of that sort of stuff to kind of tie it all together I really don't I I just don't have the patience and then to try and edit it I'd probably just cut it out and not have it in at all um it would just frustrate me too much <laughs> um so this was complicated or convoluted enough um, and I love how it came out, so I am happy I did it. Um, so moving into the sidebar, um, as I always do, I put this, the full box with the script up here, and then in the top corner, um, I pulled another um, Gathered Plans uh, regular 
corner piece out and I put a frame from a frame box from Miss and Meow up there with some deco from the kit and then a January sticker from Rose Coloured Days. Um, although I don't use the sidebar functionally anymore in any way, shape or form, um, I really wanted to keep everything that was true to the kit rather than doing any kind of um, uh, any sort of deco or red lyrics fashion girls or anything like that I just wanted the whole spread to be kit based and I actually wish I'd used more icons from the kit but there you go um, so I just put down the two habit trackers I love the font so much and the foiling is always immaculate and then I put down the full box checklist as well um, because I just thought it was such a pretty box so I won't use that at all but in terms of aesthetics I just I love how it came out it's absolutely gorgeous um, and then I really wanted to pull some more of the black I never use um, sort of deep black kits um, so I really wanted to pull in the headers that uh, have the similar well have the same design as the dividers in between the habit trackers because I just think it looks lovely um, and then with the full boxes, um, I made sure to kind of balance the pink and the black and the pictures um, across the two pages as best I could. And then, as I like to do now and again, not every week, um, but sometimes I just feel like the boxes need something above them, but I don't want to use a header. Um, so I'm just putting across, I need to order some more of these actually, a fine foil line divider from... Sadie stickers um it just kind of caps off the top of the box um to separate it a bit and I have done spreads where I've capped off the top and the bottom and I do spreads where I don't do anything at all um but for this one again I just wanted it to be perfect I really really wanted to do it justice um and I felt that I needed to do that in order to do it justice um so yes this is the first week in the new planners this is the week of the new year which was on the Saturday um so it's the tail end of December at the first half of the week and then oh, sorry my chair's really squeaky I just need to move um and then the first two days of January at the end of the week um something that I wish I had done um but didn't is use the calendar um sticker in her kit I wish I'd used that to do where I did the Polaroid and did January in the top corner I wish I had used the calendar sticker that was in the kit for that but I did use it later on in the spread but I was gutted when I I didn't do that um so this was a week where we only had to work Wednesday Thursday and Friday because Monday and Tuesday were bank holidays um and those three days were shorter days anyway um they were all work from home but I didn't want to mark that um because there was just no need I didn't I didn't want any of the spread to feel cluttered um so I didn't actually mark any of the work from home um but it, the whole week was um so on Monday um I was still at my parents house on Monday that was the day that I was due to drive home um so I had quite a long lie and I think um I think I ended up getting out of bed about 12 o'clock um, and my sister wanted to go straight into doing some just dance and um, we played a board game called uh, Quacks of Quedlinburg. Um, it's such a good game, it is so much fun. Um, I highly recommend it, it is I think two to five players, maybe two to four, um, but it's just brilliant. You're making a potion and you have to be really careful about how many things you put in it, otherwise um, you're like limited on certain things you can do um, but it is so much fun and I highly recommend it's quite a good game for slightly older kids as well my sister's only 11 um, and she absolutely loved it by the time she'd got the hang of what she needed to do um, took her a couple of rounds to fully understand how the whole thing worked um, sorry I'm just moving my planner um, but she did have a really good time um, so then I visited um, my stepdad's parents to go and see they moved um closer to my parents um about a year and a half ago just because um his dad's health was getting quite bad he'd had a couple of um uh sort of collapses um randomly so they just wanted to be closer um because previously i think they were about three hours away um and they've moved almost 
across the road from my parents. Um, but I hadn't actually been able to see the property because of everything with COVID, we haven't wanted to take the risk. So I took a lateral flow um, before I went back home for Christmas. Um, and then I was able to go and actually see where they live. So that was lovely. Um, and then me and my husband had decided that um, Tuesday we were going to have the whole day together. Uh, we were going to make sushi and we were going to watch some films. Um, and so we picked up the ingredients when we both got back on Monday afternoon. Got back about three or four. Um, and then on the Tuesday we woke up and we both decided that um, it'd be a bit best to deep clean the house because we haven't done like a proper wash of the floors and full clean of the kitchen we figured since we had the whole day and since the week was going to be much calmer it sort of made sense to do it then um so we did that we picked up a shoe rack um for our porch area um then we made sushi for the first time and it was so much fun and it was so delicious we made way more than we could eat so we had leftovers the next day as well it was oh so so good um then we watched um, the Harder They Fall, which was okay. Um, I quite liked it at the time, but it's not really sat with me as something memorable. Um, but it was okay. Um, and then we were up really late just talking about everything. Um, you know, I think Christmas is one of those times, or certainly in the space between Christmas and New Year and my birthdays then, at the start of February, I think everything kind of becomes very... Um, deep and meaningful and thoughtful um it's sort of quite a um reflective time of year so we were up till like two in the morning just talking about everything that was on my mind and everything that was going on um and it was really really good um then the next day I ordered a cover for my um the planner that I keep on me just for general day-to-day -day noting things down that I then refer to when I'm actually doing the memory planning. Um, I ordered a new cover for that. Um, it's just a clear cover with rose gold um, rings and it's personal size and I absolutely love it. It's perfect for what I need. Um, then I spent some time setting that up. I spent some time set that setting up my um, 7x9 um, and just had chill time really um then we finally were able to go and pick up our tv stand which we'd had handmade um specifically to fit with the theme of our front room which is sort of a beachy airy feel um it's the darker side of the house so we wanted it to be really light um and we are big um tv movie people so it was important that the tv and the tv stand were exactly what we needed so we finally went to pick that up after about four months of waiting for it to be finished um and then we started the book of boba fett which is awesome um really 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 awesome um if you're a star wars fan you have to watch it it's brilliant it's the next thing after the mandalorian really it's very similar vibe um and then i made some salmon tacos for us um had another sleep in on thursday and marked that with the um lovely lay circles that i was talking about um i've got back into hotel babylon which is just um it's just sort of like a drama bbc tv show i haven't watched it in years so i wanted to pick that back up um, and I've also been watching some Agatha Raisin because I watched all of my episodes of Poirot um, and I couldn't watch Miss Marvel because I've watched them all too many times. Um, oh, this is the calendar sticker that I was talking about that I wish I'd used in the top corner so I had to use it for something. Um, and then I did an extra shift uh, of deliveries in the evening. Um, then on New Year's Eve, we had a really chill day, like a really, really slow day. So I had a half day at work. Um, we watched Don't Look Up in the afternoon, which isn't a film I would recommend it was just a bit silly whilst also being quite depressing I don't know but you know glad we watched it um it was interesting anyway um and then we played games pretty much all evening with our friends who live in Sweden um and then I did a shift of deliveries and then we opened our wedding champagne um to toast the new year um and we facetimed my husband's family and it was it was lovely we were up till again like 2 a.m gaming it was we paused for sort of 10 minutes to watch the fireworks that some of our neighbours were doing, but it was such a fun evening. Um, then on Saturday, so I used that calendar sticker to mark Happy New Year. Those scripts, by the way, are from Rose Coloured Days, and I absolutely love them. I'm going to have to get some more of those, I think. Um, we had a long lie-in till like midday or something. Um, we went, oh no, actually it would have been about half past 10, because then we had the cinema at quarter to uh, midday. Quarter to midday, is that how you say that? Um, we went to see The King's Man. 
Um, and then I had um, just me time in the afternoon and I did another shift of deliveries. So yeah, Saturday was just a super duper laid back chill day. Um, and it was really lovely to kind of recharge. Um, Sunday was actually, sorry, going back to Saturday. So Saturday, um, one of the things that we talked about earlier in the week in our sort of late night talking um, was we are looking to get a dog um, in the immediate future as soon as the possibility comes available to us. Um, we have gone back and forth so much. So I wanted a sausage dog for my entire life, desperately wanted a sausage dog. Um, but recently, um, in conversations a couple of months ago, we agreed we should get a rescue because the price of sausage dogs has gone through the roof with everyone through the pandemic. Um, so we looked into rescues, but actually with the jobs that we have, it's just not going to work having a rescue. They need people home all of the time um, because of the emotional issues they've suffered. Um, and inevitably, there's going to need to be um, vet bills and things that we simply can't support at the moment um, in terms of the amount of health checks and things they're going to need um so we've decided to go ahead we've gone back to the puppy idea um but we're going to go for a whippet um so on sunday uh, we went with a whippet by the way just because it suits our lifestyles much better um as a dog breed they you know it seemed to work for both of us so we settled on a whippet um after talking about it at length um so on sunday um i did have a bubble bath and i love how i marked that with one of the half scallop boxes from the kit and some of the dangle deco and um, but i've also marked that we marked that we researched puppies um and i actually booked an appointment for the monday um to go and view a puppy that was available um so yeah on sunday we just spent time um, kind of doing all of the research we could to make sure we were as well prepared as we could be for what we need if if this is to happen imminently um, so this should be happening in the next couple of months when we find one that is um, a good fit for us and um, then we played board games all afternoon we played Monopoly and we played Splendor and that was so much fun I got to get out my Disney theme park Monopoly which I love um, and then we watched the first episode of The Silent Sea which was interesting it seems like it's going to be a bit of a slower build um but it it's so far so good it's very interesting um and then i just painted my nails um and had some me time finishing up the spread thank you for joining me and happy new year